from rolling mausoleums to boat-tailed World War II ambulances, these celebs have the most expensive Rolls Royces. Justin Bieber had West Coast Customs turn his $330,000 Rolls Royce Wraith into something out of Blade Runner for an undisclosed amount of cash. Baby, 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 oh, the Canadian pop star couldn't wait for Rolls's 103X Vision 100 concept car to come out, so he had it done himself. The impatience of youth is sometimes a good thing, as the 27-year-old singer's dream car, nicknamed the Uriel, is now a reality. It's a two-seater, 19.4 feet long, the roof, panoramic, and the wheels have concealed, making it look like a hovercraft from a distance. The glorious grill is also larger than your average Rolls-Royce grill, inspiring grill envy. The molds for the body kit took months to cast and build, and hundreds of hours went into shaping the body and making its black paint job that two-tone gloss silver matte and gray you see today, giving it that tasteful Tesla Cybertruck rich uncle vibe. Its interior was redone to match, and JL Audio made a customized sound system that could please the ears of even the most experienced musician. Its LED lights were enhanced, and the shape of the head and tail lights were sleek. Tucked away light bars around the body light up when you drive it, and its solid sterling silver spirit of ecstasy was replaced with an LED lit Eleanor. The project took three years to complete, and was met with tears of joy from its $285 million owner. Now retired soccer icon David Beckham had a $407,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe Dub Edition. Dub edition means the car possesses 20 inch rims or above. The 463 horsepower, 6.75 liter, petrol thirsty V12 is quick for a heavy Betty, going from 0 to 60 in 5.55 seconds, not bad for a 6,000 pound behemoth. The car also has custom Savani forged 24 inch wheels, and a triple XL grille for when that regular grille just isn't enough. The Bode interior has cream light leather bucket seats, TVs in the rear of the front seat so the boys can turn up the bended like Beckham DVD way up high while Victoria and Davy Boy argue. Well, you know, like married folk do. His famed number 23 is also embroidered on the seats. This dub edition was sold in 2012 when he left the LA Galaxy franchise. The luxury car reappeared in a Vegas dealership with only 6,000 miles on the odometer. Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal collaborated with the MPH club to commemorate the spirit of his fallen teammate and friend, Kobe Bryant, with a $530,000 custom-wrapped Rolls-Royce Phantom. For Shaq's Funhouse event in Miami, they wrapped the black Phantom in a Laker-colored purple and gold mamba, celebrating the life and legacy of the late great number 24. Metro Wraps helped create the automotive body tattoo. There's a mural of Kobe on the back driver's side fender, and on the hood is Shaq and Kobe facing away, with Kobe wearing his original number. Eight. Shaq himself has his own $475,000 Phantom, which has been customized to suit his towering height. His daily driver is an all-terrain, high-bodied $364,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Now you just know that V12 4x4 is spacious if the 7-foot 1-inch Shaq can comfortably fit in it. The Cullinan is named after the largest uncut diamond ever discovered. It was found 4 feet below the surface in the Cullinan mine in 1905. Not one, but two matching 1937 Rolls-Royce boat tail speedsters adore Jay Leno's $50 million car collection. The twin sedans that were originally four-seaters have been fully restored by Gary Wales in Cali. Like a lot of rear ends in the valley, the boat tail ends have been fully redone using actual wooden boats molded onto aluminum backs. Philippine mahogany wood on the top, Honduras mahogany wood on the side. It has a soft and loud setting for the horn, so you can scale your honking to your anger appropriately. And those Marshall headlights are the epitome of luxury car beams, even 85 years later. The twins look and feel like something literary hero The Great Gatsby would drive. These twin chassis are World War II survivors. One was donated to the Allied after the bombing of London in 1939, serving its countrymen as an ambulance and hearse. Its sister car got sent to Puerto Rico, who knows what it did there. And like aspiring actors, they found their way to the US's West Coast in the 80s, where they live on, currently up for auction. Jay himself currently owns an open-top black 1934 Rolls-Royce Merlin, worth an estimated $185,000. Under its long hood sits a Merlin aircraft engine. These 27-liter engines from the famous Spitfire and P-51 Mustang fighter aircrafts have found their way into hot rods. Think the 1,160 horsepower, $3.25 million Aston Martin Valkyrie is powerful? Merlin engines can churn out up to 2,000 horsepower because they're meant for the skies. Rappers love Cullinans, and since Drake has never been the fan of the preservation of money, he went and blew $400,000 on a Rolls-Royce Cullinan and had it tuned into a gothic-themed phenomenon. 
the Canadian star collaborated with fashion brand Chrome Hearts to make this double R a celebration of their collective brands. The grille has been extended to be lower than your average Cullinan grille on this SUV that was immortalized in Drake's What's Next music video. The Eleanor Hood ornament on this Cullinan has been replaced with a trio of custom gothic cross hood pieces clustered together, sacrilege to many longtime Rolls Royce aficionados. Carbon fiber lightens this Cullinan's load as its hood, side skirts, rear diffuser, front bumper splitter, air dams, and C splitter are carbon fibered out. That cross and fleur de lis motif continues in the luxury vehicle's remarkable interior. This hand stitched job had to be on par with the top tier Goodwood factory quality Rolls Royce is known for. The job was stretched out over a year, so the craftsman could meticulously make sure every thread was in its right place, so that the machine could appropriately represent the premium clothing line it's promoting. Every square inch of this premium interior was redone to supreme excess, including the vent knobs and pedals. Only the interior starlight roof line was kept as is. Drake is very polite in person, but his black Cullinan is quite rude. Wrapper Quavo flosses and flexes in more ways than we can count. Today we're focusing on his $330,000 black and Halloween pumpkin orange custom Rolls Royce Cullinan. The inside looks like it was designed by Tom Hanks's SNL character David Pumpkins. The orange center caps on the wheels float, creating a unique illusion of motion when the vehicle drives by. The windows are tinted extra black to forego the need for sunglasses, but we're pretty sure Quavo wears his 9.5 shades in them anyway. 26 inch Dre ECL. Four Giotto wheels hit that pavement for big revolutions. The LA Rams' wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr.'s $330,000 Cullinan is the fraternal twin brother to Quavo's Rolls. It's that Cleveland Brown shade of orange, as that was his team at the time of purchase. And the hood has a pop-up uniformed onyx OBJ with an orange number 13 on the jersey. Rolls-Royce invited the baller out to London for a promo test drive of the Cullinan in hopes of attracting a young money audience to the brand, and the NFL superstar was hooked. He also has a matte white wraith, complete with an all-white grille, estimated to be worth a little over $500,000 all in. Sports stars seem to prefer the wraith because of the athleticism of the car. The release of Fat Joe's album, Family Ties, was celebrated with a From Me To Me gift. A brand new $350,000 black badge Rolls-Royce Cullinan with a $150,000 customization job. The half a million dollar vehicle was brought to Will Castro of Unique Rides and got a two-tone paint job, matte baby blue with a cream white wrap. The interior was redone to match, and the black badge comes standard with TVs all up in the back of the headrests. So riders can watch how Fat Joe got some of his acting credits in films like Night School, Empire, and Happy Feet. While they watch, their lower backs will be supported by the Versace pillows the Bronx rapper added, worth $500 a piece, while the rest of your back gets massaged by the massage seats. Ooh. The magnificent roll sits on 24-inch forged rims and are surrounded by premium Nito tires. This Cullinan already comes comes with night vision for covert ops and pedestrian recognition so you don't run over your neighbors, damaging that upper echelon grill. Soul and Spider-Man No Way Home veteran actor and musician Jamie Foxx has a $500,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom drophead coupe. He switched the color from black to satin with a $20,000 paint job and added 24-inch Giovanna rims to show everyone he passes on every street corner he made it. He also occasionally gets spotted in his white $315,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost. Brooklyn Net James Harden, aka The Beard, drives a $405,000 Rolls Royce Wraith. Number 13 bought it way back when he was still with the Houston Rockets, and the company's most powerful car ever to roll off its line in its 118 year history came in the team's signature red and black. The two toners' doors open in suicide fashion, making a lasting impression when the $165 million man exits. Hollywood golden ticket giver Simon Cowell spiritually joins British royalty when he rides around in his $264,000 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud III. Since its first appearance in Paris in 1962, only 2,000 of these were ever produced from 1963 to 1966, and the 6.2-liter 220-pound V8s are rather slow. He also owns a pair of $500,000 apiece Rolls Royce Phantoms. He switches up the way Sir Winston Churchill switched up his canes. One for the daytime, one for the nighttime. If you're in Beverly Hills, you can tell when you're seeing Simon's car as they have those white wall tires. 
Tom Brady, Mr. California Cool himself, carts around in a black $400,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost. The V12 on the Ghost is famously whisper-quiet, allowing the 44-year-old football legend, currently valued at a quarter billion dollars, to give himself a library quiet oasis inside. The Ghost is entry-level but by no means affordable by even the average millionaire. The 563 horsepower 6.7 liter engine is an 8 speed automatic and an all wheel driver. Great for trips to a snowy New England in the winter, where he'll never ever ever pay for a drink again thanks to the six Super Bowl rings he won with the Patriots. Everyone on this list is a first generation millionaire. If they make some good investments, a $3.2 million Rolls Royce Hyperion Pininfarina might be an option. Named for a Greek titan. Hyperion was one of the 12 children of Earth and Sky. This baby blue wonder is a one-off drop head coupe, only for the richest of the rich.